morning and welcome to this week's Trade of the Week on Monday, the 9th of October. At the end of September, we went uh, short cotton futures and uh, nearly got stopped out uh, a few days later. But since there was no daily chart close above the high seen back in uh, November of 2022 at 9,002, we didn't get stopped out on that trade. And since then, the price of cotton did come back down again, but then it flared up once more. So what I would suggest we do now is instead of just having a stop loss above the last reaction high at 9,013, I would make it a stop and reverse order, meaning that if we were to close above that high, then I would also go long on that close because that would mean that we have broken through some key resistance going back to November 2022 and that the odds are pretty high that further upside might take us much, much further with regards to the price of cotton going forward. With regards to the trade from last week, we went long uh, FANG futures, so uh, the likes of um, former Facebook, so Meta, Apple, Amazon, etc., and we did so at 7,300, so that was nearly the perfect trade here. Yes, the market dipped up back down again, but then it has risen since then. And uh, you could now, if you wanted to, cash in around 250 points of profits here, or if you want to let this trade run, because it might go much, much higher, taking us back towards the 8,200 area, what you could do is just raise your stop loss off level to break even and thereby um, reducing your losses potentially to zero. And uh, for this week's trade of the week, what I thought we could do is actually go long cable, the British pound against the US dollar. And the reason for this is that uh, despite uh, non-farm payrolls coming in much stronger than expected last week on Friday at 336,000 versus an expected 170,000 and the US dollar rising last week, it did not manage to close for its 12th consecutive week in higher territory, meaning that perhaps we could see a correction in the US dollar, and that would benefit the British pound. And as we can see here also on this chart, we're seeing positive divergence. That is to say the latest low we made last week at 120.38 was not accompanied by our lower reading of the relative strength index. So when we see positive divergence, quite often that leads to at least a short-term reversal in the overall trend. So what I would like to do is, is to go long cable, with a stop loss just below that low there. So today's uh, trade of the week is to go long the British pound against the uh, US dollar at uh, around current levels with an upside target of around 126 and a stop loss below last week's low, just below the 120 area, let's say at 119.80. <laughs>